Dear friends in the real estate industry in India, this is a short video on the informative of purchasing properties pertaining to trusts and societies. Friends, we need to understand that the properties bestowed by the donors to trusts and properties of Christian missionary donated properties as well as the mutt properties donated by people to the Hindu community at large. These properties cannot be alienated and sold to third entities. The properties belonging to Protestant Christian community donated by people to the missionaries which are administrated by the diocese in India cannot be alienated and sold to non-Christians. The donor have laid the conditions that the properties if sold should be sold to the people of the same community and the money be utilized for the welfare of the churches at large. However, for this to be executed, there should be a general power of attorney holder of the properties. Unfortunately, there is no legitimate general power of attorney holder in property in these properties held by UBMC TA or the unauthorized employees of CSI. Also, the properties which have been illegally sold and developed till date with wrong advice of half-baked lawmakers are being retrieved under CPC 92 where there is no limitation to retrieve properties of trusts sold to non-Christians properties from 1932 onwards till date are being retrieved. Similarly, there are many properties owned by the Hindu community which are in the custody of the trusts in the Venkatramana temple, Sri Krishna Mat and Odiur Mat. These properties cannot be alienated and sold to non-Hindus. The properties have to be sold only to the people of the Hindu community. These technicalities wherein people have to sell, want to sell properties to non-Hindus, they need to call for an extraordinary general body meeting and get approved of three-fourth majority of the Hindu community if it has to be alienated and to so be sold to non-Hindus. Similarly, in the Christian community also, if the trust properties need to be sold, they require three-fourth majority approval of all the beneficiaries. This technicality cannot be followed in truth and spirit. The reason being, many people who claim to be trustees have not been legitimately elected to being trustees. Coming to the matter of issuing NOC to such properties, No person can issue NOC to trust properties. 
if they do so and collect money or if anyone is blackmailing the builders or the purchasers or the sellers in the form of issuing NOC, such criminal activity should be brought to the notice of law enforcement officers. Friends, if you need more informative on Mulgini, Chalgini and Varga properties of the trusts and societies, you can always feel free to contact Allied Real Estate Law Firm at 63691979 We are having our services in Mangalore, Bangalore, Hubli, Darwad and Tumkur in Karnataka. In furtherance, we have our services in Mumbai and Pune, Maharashtra and in Goa and finally at Tamil Nadu, we have our services in Coimbatore, Uti, Tirupur and Madurai. Our head office being in Mangalore, but at the same time we are active on YouTube, on our channel The Southern Pandit. We are also available online to provide you online legal help in property registration, documentation, mutation and other allied services pertaining to property development activities. Friends, if you require any legal opinion on any properties and for development of properties, building contract agreements, contractual audit reports of building and construction, you can feel free to contact us at 63691979 We are here to serve you 24-7-365. Thank you.